So good morning, everybody. I am here in the house of Margaret, but you don't know her from Margaret. She is Peggy. And I was asking Peggy when was her birthday because for many of you, you don't know that she born in the same year of the, the Queen. Queen. Yes, well, very good people. I mean, 1926. 1926. So I am here because we want to ask her what her favorite verse and 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 she uh, she was so gentle to tell me that you know she she had her book so she wants to show you she is is her favorite book it's a new testament book and she loves it and she has a special verse that she's going to read for us but after that i want to say hello to everybody well hello everybody I think perhaps you might know me. I do come to church occasionally. <laughs> That's good. But, um, of course, St Matthew's, I mean, it's always been my church. And I make sure everybody behaves themselves in there. Otherwise, they get my very special look. Yeah. And, and you're going to read for us today your favourite verse. Then it's in Matthew chapter 11. Verse 28 and 29. She's going to read for us. Well, I am if I find the glasses. Oh, we already lost the glasses. But I think it's here, someplace here, close yeah, to you. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. You know, that's it. Without glasses, nothing. I'm here. 28 and 29. Come unto me, all ye that labour and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. Ah, oh, that's for my, hmm? for my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. So, why do you like it? I don't know. Sometimes I think when I read these, they're talking about me. Uh -huh. And um, I don't really think people know me. Mm. I've never, I've tried never to push myself forward. Mm -hmm. I like to be in the background, whatever is going on. Mm -hmm. But I still see it and hear it. <laughs> Everything. Yes, yes. But how beautiful is that? And I'm going to give you rest. And Jesus knew their thoughts and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. Now that needs sorting out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you read the Bible every day or your book every day? I have it on the side there when I bring my morning cuppa in about 10. I have a morning cuppa of biscuits and I bring it in and that's why it's on the arm of the chair there and I pick it up and I just open it willy nilly and read what is there. I want to show you guys, look at that beauty of Bible Dubai with the M of Margaret. So she put it here and she know what she was reading yes, yesterday. Yes, yeah, yeah. What made you happy? What thing made you happy? I don't know, I think I am mostly happy all the time. All the time. I love people. I used to love working with the children at church. And then I had quite a bad stroke. Mm -hmm. And um, I also have a pacemaker here. Mm -hmm. And I thought it wouldn't be right to carry on in case anything happened while I was with the children. 
Aww. And that's why I gave it up. I must admit, I did miss it. Because you learn more from children than you do yeah. from grown-ups. Yeah, that you do. I know you have one special children in the church. That yes. you love him. Oh, yes. Who is one of that one? Yeah, there he is. What is the name? My Simeon. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Simeon Christian, yes. He the one. Always. Okay. And when when he was born and the vicar brought him in church on the Sunday, he gave him straight to me. And that feeling has always been there. Oh, wow. That's good. It's my number one man. Ooh. Mind you, I wouldn't say it now. It was all right <laughs> when he was little, but no, you be careful now when he comes in and I've got to look up to him. <laughs> Do he? Yeah. It's a different thing. Yeah. But um, one regret that I've never had grandchildren. Yeah. Maybe it'd be a good thing because I was bought on something <laughs> dreadful. So, Peggy. You love St. Matthew. Oh, yes. Goodness me, yes. Why you love them so much? Why you like you love your church so much? I don't know. I feel when I walk in that door, I'm home. Mm -hmm. Although it is changing slightly. And... Um, but there are still some people there that have been there, like me, all the, many years. But you still, they're gradually popping off without permission. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, there are quite a lot of people I miss. Especially Bill Munden. Really? Oh, golly. <laughs> you did as you were told. Really? <laughs> yeah. And one thing he did let me do once, Bill Munden, was ring the bell for church. Oh. Only that once. Because oh. I mean, they never do it now, do they? Yeah. But just that once, he let me ring the bell, and I thought I was cock of the north then. <laughs> yeah. Peggy, I am so happy that we did that. And we, you know, you read you, your favorite verse, and you share with us your love for the church. So we're going to say bye to everyone now. Yeah. Well, goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. See you soon. Yes, very bye. soon, hopefully. <laughs>